Coming up on Inside O-Town, Mr. Crow talks about some of his favorite people here at OHS. Anthony and Alex showcase some Halloween movie classics. I need them. Good morning, Wildcats. Hi, I'm Savannah Bailey. And I'm Caden. Our top story today is the Oxford Legacy Foundation and the work that they have done creating care packages for Uvalde. Recently, they were approved to travel to Texas in mid-November to handle, deliver those to students and staff there in a show of love and support. If you'd like to donate, you can go to their GoFundMe campaign. The link is found in the description. Leadership is sponsoring a Halloween costume contest on Monday, if you'd like to enter. Mr. Crow has been a fixture here at OHS for two decades. Here's a story about the man and what he loves about being a part of the Oxford High School community. Mr. Crow has been a part of the Oxford High School family as a history teacher since 2002. He has a great reputation with the students and is a good teacher, except for one thing, his parking. Well, I pull in every day and I see if Mr. Trotter's in my spot, which typically he takes my spot. I like to be in the second row on the side and Mr. Trotter sometimes takes my spot. It has been said that Mr. Crow is a laid-back teacher, but he too has his pet peeves. Being on time, what, not really school per se, but when we're having people over for dinner or something, just be on time, don't be a half hour late. For many years, people have speculated when or if Mr. Crow will retire. I got two to three more years in, in me, I'm thinking. Two to three. It is no secret that the teachers at this school have their own besties. Mr. Crow has a few. I probably talk to Mr. Fedwap, Mr. Trotter, and Mr. Pointer the most because they're right in our little social studies area. Mr. Crow is a family favorite. His favorite thing about being a part of an Oxford community is... A small community, you know, everyone feels just part of being like a small unit. You think that thing over there is broken? Yeah, it's fine. Anyways, coming off of their most recent win as league champions, leaders of the girls cross country team found a new sense of identity and confidence. They also believe that this is simply the start of a long-awaited journey as they approach regionals. It feels great, and I'm really proud of all that our team has accomplished this season. We've put in the work since the summer, and it's paying off. Going into regionals, I feel like we will be able to achieve what we've been working for this whole year. We have worked very hard to get to this point where we are in the season. We are hoping to win regionals and qualify for states as a team. At the state meet, we are hoping to place in the top ten. Good luck, girls. Winter may be around the corner, but it's never too early to plan for spring. Any boys interested in playing golf for the crust, there are informational meetings coming up. Those interested in golf, be sure to, uh, be, sure to be in room 105 tonight at 315. The crust meets tomorrow, October 20th, in room 501 at the same time. Room 501 is the LGI slash choir room near the cafeteria. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Mine is Hocus Pocus. I really like Ghostbusters. Halloween is just a few days away, and Anth uh, Anthony and Alex have a list of movies that you may enjoy. On the horizon, many movies and games and other forms of entertainment switch from being more bright and colorful to being spooky and dark. We thought we would give you a nice list of movies to watch at home if you haven't already. This whole list is made up of from movies from our childhoods, so if you don't agree with our list and want to give us your opinion, you can contact us at our Instagram or TikTok and give us your list there. But without further ado, here are our list for what you should watch during Halloween. We have the classic movie Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus 2. Nine is the ghost with the most Beetlejuice. Number eight, there is a fan favorite, Halloween Town. Number seven, we have a John Carpenter classic, Halloween. Six, it's the dream demon himself, Freddy Krueger in Nightmare on Elm Street. Five, what's this? What's this? It's the nightmare before Christmas. Number four, it's Pennywise, the dancing clown from It. Number three, we have the movie that started the self-aware horror movie trope, Scream. We are joining the counselors at Camp Crystal Lake on Friday the 13th. Is there something strange in your neighborhood? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. We gave you either a movie you have either not seen or to watch again. Here are this week's birthdays. Happy birthday to everyone. On this day in history, the New York City subway system opened in 1904. It may not be the oldest subway system in the world, 
The Boston is the oldest United States, and it quickly became the largest American system. That's all we have for you today. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and be sure to send in your ideas to us at announcements at oxfordschools.org. Have a great day, Wildcats. And remember, radiate and shine. What was that for?